better alternatives to selling on eBay and Amazon hey have you been selling on eBay and Amazon you just don't want to do it anymore I mean maybe the fees are too high maybe you lost your account or maybe you're just tired of competing with people that don't even care if they make a profit well in this video I'm gonna give you the best alternatives to selling on Amazon and eBay and we're starting right now Hey, JR Fisher here. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Go down there now, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget while you're there, join the family. How do you do that? You ring the bell right next to the subscription button you hit that you smash that bell and you turn on all notifications so that you can join our VIP family and I can let you know every single time there's a new video now I've been selling online since 2009 I've sold millions of dollars worth of both physical and digital products and you know what I share all those tips and techniques with you on this channel so you can start run and grow your online business now at the end of this video I've got a bonus for you it's an e-commerce course valued at $97 that you can get absolutely free by just clicking the link in the description so have you been selling on Amazon and eBay what is your experience it's been has it been good has it been bad what have you found that's worked for you and do you have alternatives to selling on Amazon and eBay I'd like to hear all your comments put them in the comments section below and I'd love to talk to you about it okay the first alternative I'm gonna tell you is Etsy now Etsy started in 2005 and it was more of a artsy kind of crafty website and they've grown since then and I mean they've grown in a big way to where they have 1.6 million sellers on there now of all kinds of products both new and crafted products they also have 26.1 million buyers on there now which is amazing so that's a great site for you to try out and sell your products on there's all kinds of cool gadgets and t-shirts and mugs and all kinds of stuff and if you use one of those print-on-demand companies you can actually sell it on Etsy now both Etsy and eBay both have a listing fee that's required eBay listings will last you 10 days unless it's a fixed price and then they'll last up to 30 days when selling on Etsy your listings last up to four months which is a lot longer and it's gonna save you some money in listing fees Etsy is also a lot cheaper when you're selling something it's only a three and a half percent sales fee now if you've ever tried to contact eBay support you know that can be a challenge Etsy has much better support much easier to get a hold of somebody and get the help you need now Etsy certainly is more geared towards handmade and vintage products so if you have something that fits in that area you're gonna do really well on Etsy something that's more unique now this next site that I would recommend to you is Bonanza now Bonanza even has a catchphrase that says find everything but the ordinary on Bonanza you're allowed to sell a much wider variety of wholesale products which opens up more opportunities for you the next one that's available is called Ruby Lane now Ruby Lane is more on the antique side and vintage type items if you have items that are antiques or that are vintage those are really good products for Ruby Lane okay here we are at Bonanza they are headquartered in Seattle and they're kind of new to the e-commerce scene but they're doing incredibly well right now the marketplace encompasses more than 22 million items ranging from Godzilla garden gnomes to taxidermy alligators all kinds of crazy stuff a lot of the sellers are making good money on Bonanza site has merchants and shoppers in nearly every country around the world and there's more than 40,000 sellers that have already created businesses here so so Bonanza is one of the easiest selling platforms to use and its popularity is on the rise amongst almost all sellers matter of fact Bonanza has taken out the top rating for communication once again um, they were just voted the most recommended selling venue there is on the internet according to entrepreneurs 360 best companies list now as we compare Bonanza to eBay Bonanza is similar to eBay and it has a huge range of different products that are being sold on both but the sky's the limit for what you can sell unlike eBay however many items of Bonanza are quirky and unique extraordinary items that really do well here 
because Bonanza doesn't make money until its sellers do you'll see much higher profit margins it's absolutely free to list things on Bonanza which is really cool because they charge you a fee on eBay and the average fee per sale can be as little as three and a half percent which is considerably less than eBay Bonanza is also a fixed price marketplace meaning that buyers pay the listed price as opposed to bidding like eBay's auction style ones are Bonanza also sends every item listing to Google and Bing and sellers have the option to get more exposure by advertising their listings in other channels such as price grabber next tag and Bonanza's affiliate advertising program also many online sellers like to list their items on multiple platforms which is why Bonanza has easy to use import features for listings on eBay Etsy and Amazon now although Bonanza's monthly traffic is lower than eBay's the ratio of shoppers to sellers on Bonanza is much higher it's like 1300 to 1 on Bonanza versus less than 10 to 1 on eBay this means far less competition between sellers and far more chances for buyers to see your products now if you're trying to decide if Bonanza is best for you it's really for unique products products that you aren't gonna find in other places products that are really kind of out of the ordinary that's where you'd want to go is Bonanza some of the top categories would be collectibles that's a big category on Bonanza also home and garden women's fashion is also very big and of course health and beauty now the next place that's available is Craigslist people forget all of the possibilities that you can use Craigslist for you can sell almost anything on Craigslist well including yourself in the personal section it's kind of like a no frills thing that has no listing fees no selling fees but it's also super basic in design you're not going to get a lot of the bells and whistles you would get with the other sites you know after all it's really just a forum uh, it looks like something that was written in the 90s but keep in mind this is free to you and being able to sell on Craigslist for free well that's a pretty good deal how does Craigslist directly compare to something like eBay or Amazon well eBay charges to list and sell items Craigslist only charges for a small handful of post types so like if you're listing a job or vehicles something like that they are gonna charge a fee for those products are actually free to list now eBay will get involved in disputes if necessary while you're on your own on Craigslist so there's kind of a higher risk there uh, Craigslist requires you to sell locally and often you arrange for pickup or drop-off of the items so you're not shipping them out this also limits your marketplace compared to eBay which usually involves shipping to a wider market area unlike eBay Craigslist has a free section where people aren't looking to make money yep that's right they just are trying to get rid of things they don't want a lot of this will be junk but you can keep an eye out for anything that you could get and maybe resell for a decent profit especially if you're skilled at fixing things up now the next place I want to look at is eBid that's number four is eBid eBid is like another sell anything marketplace it's similar to eBay and Amazon in that its platform for selling is almost anything still but it's not as well known um, you're gonna be selling to a smaller pool of buyers there's not quite as many people you could sell to but it's definitely a lower cost option than eBay or Amazon but the profitability rating is also a lot lower the absence of listing fees and a low 3% commission charge per sale does make this a low-risk marketplace to test out so if you're looking for a change and you've got little or nothing to lose by putting them there now keep in mind eBid is similar to eBay in that they both have an auction style format for product listings eBay is a larger platform than eBid and receives more traffic eBid is a much cheaper alternative than eBay and it's a lower risk option but they're both trusted marketplaces with a wide variety of product categories next up on the list number five is Rakuten now they're doing a lot of advertising on TV now and they're getting a lot of press Rakuten was formerly known as buy.com and they were considered the Amazon of Japan now Japan is not the first country that comes to mind when you're thinking about e-commerce but get this Japan's population is more than 126 million and more than 90% of Japan's internet users are registered at Rakuten so that tells you something right there that's a big marketplace one benefit of Rakuten is that you're not competing with the website itself now that's really different unlike Amazon which sells dozens of its own brands on the site and if you're selling really well in a particular area they'll probably come up with their own brand Rakuten does not compete with its sellers you also have more power to customize your store within the platform and something that other e-commerce websites don't allow is that customization that you're gonna get over there there are some really big names like Dell Lenovo Office Depot Airweave and Dyson that use Rakuten 
Rakuten is more like Amazon than eBay it's more of a traditional online retail site not an auction type platform now believe it or not the fees on Rakuten are actually higher than eBay and they're calculated in a different way you're gonna pay a $33 a month fee just to be able to sell on the site and then on top of that you're gonna pay between 8 and 15 percent for a category fee and a 99 cent fee every time you sell something our next site we want to look at is new egg new egg is an online marketplace that really claims to be number one in the marketplace for everything technology so if you're in a technology based type thing new egg is going to be the site you're going to want to be on now on new egg sellers can list products on the marketplace with reaches up to get this 36 million customers new egg is based in california and has distribution facilities all across north america and also in canada it has a global reach of more than 50 countries at this point but you're going to be a lot more restricted in terms of what products you can sell new eggs is really for tech products so if you're not in tech products you're not gonna be able to do it now the flip side is if you're going to sell on new egg understand that everybody coming to new egg is looking for tech products so you've got a much more defined and targeted audience new egg also does offer fulfillment service and they're going to be shipped by new egg similar to Amazon's FBA new egg also offers a fulfillment service called SBN shipped by new egg it's similar to Amazon's FBA which is fulfillment by Amazon but eBay doesn't do any fulfillment at all so you couldn't do that on that site now new egg provides account managers who can help you set up your business and guide you along the journey new egg offers tiered membership options so they've got a free one they've got a 29.95 a month and they've got a 99.95 a month the more you pay the more support tools flexibility and listings that you're gonna get they also take a commission and don't forget that that's a rate of between 8 and 15 percent the next site I want to talk about is ecrater.com now ecrater is 100 percent free online marketplace the main appeal of ecrater is that it's free to set up a store and it even has templates that you can use to easily create an attractive store it is possible to import your listings from eBay which is good if you're looking for a transition entirely um, there's not a lot of information on eCreator online but it's said to be at least 65,000 active stores on the site and the number of customers and the amount of traffic pales in comparison to the larger e-commerce platform so it's probably best used as a complimentary marketplace where you could sell a little bit more extra goods rather than one that you solely rely on to run your business so how does eCreator work well it's 100% free to open and run a store in eCreator however if eCreator brings you a sale it takes 2.9% of the total sale you keep a hundred percent of the sales that you bring to your store through your own SEO and marketing offers while there's no recent data available the number of users and visitors on eCreator will be much fewer than eBay's numbers eCreator provides online store templates which does help you out but you can also customize your store to include your own branding the next one we're going to talk about and we mentioned a little bit was Ruby Lane now what's Ruby Lane well Ruby Lane is really a legitimate alternative to selling on eBay it's been designed to bring buyers and sellers of antiques art vintage collectibles and all kinds of different jewelry together it's similar to ones on Bonanza and Etsy uh, Ruby Lane currently has 1.1 million unique visitors per month which is impressive really for a niche marketplace uh, the majority of the people who are on the site are either from the UK Australia Canada and the US USA uh, some also in Germany but it has a global reach of 85% of women users aged over 40 which is pretty darn good almost all describe themselves as collecting enthusiasts so if your product is something that people can collect and they can buy more of it would be a great product on Ruby Lane it seems to attract more purposeful educated buyers who may be willing to spend more money so your profits could be much higher there Ruby Lane is a fixed price marketplace it has no bidding on it uh, it's it's much more niche than eBay focusing only on antiques arts collectibles jewelry that type of thing which means your visitors to your store are more targeted that's a good thing if you have those products while there's no commission Ruby Lane charges 19 cents per listing and a tiered maintenance fee that ranges from $69 a month for smaller sellers to 0.01 cents per item for major sellers there's also a one-off $100 setup cost that you're gonna to have to incur when you start your store there there's also greater quality control on Ruby Lane and sellers are much more vetted the next one I want to talk about is Walmart Walmart can you sell your products on Walmart you sure can we 
we have our products listed on Walmart it's not widely known that Walmart one of the largest retail corporations on the planet has entered into e-commerce market see Walmart marketplace is a platform where select sellers can list and sell their products it's very similar to Amazon because you're going to be competing with Walmart that's just the way it is it's definitely worth considering though as an alternative to selling on eBay you get to take advantage of Walmart's massive reach and customer base and it's free and easy to get set up Walmart seems to be taking the e-commerce space more seriously lately so it's likely to be investing heavily in this area which who knows maybe will bring you more business there are no setup or maintenance fees merchants just pay a referral fee of between 8 and 20 percent for successful sales now that's a pretty high percentage there's no auction option it's just fixed price listings depending on your product and niche you could be competing against some Walmart owned brands which may be given priority on the platform of course it's their website Walmart online sales are lagging behind eBay and Amazon but it's in the early days and they're just getting started you're gonna have to expect lower margins there because of their fees Walmart prioritizes competitively priced products which means you might get caught up in a race to the bottom which is never good and the last place I want to talk about yep your online store that's right your store you can sell stuff with your store you can have your own website hey the cool thing is there's no competition you can sell on your very own website you can set up some type of e-commerce plugin if you have a WordPress website and it's really one of the easiest ways to go when selling on your own website you know you've got to establish your own traffic people aren't going to just be coming there you're going to have to drive traffic through ads social media or by some other means maybe email marketing but once you're set up and running you don't have to compete with anybody you don't have to worry about cost of fees you don't have to worry about listing fees you have your own site so how does your own site compare to these other sites well if you were selling on eBay you know you would have to be competing you'd be building your own brand if you're selling on your own site you can choose things like which payment forms to accept or you could tweak the design of your store to suit your own preferences you're not competing with anybody if you're on your own site and that's a pretty cool thing this means you don't have to lose sales to other people uh, it also means you don't have to compete on your pricing because yours is the only price on the site okay so there's 10 top alternatives to selling on Amazon and eBay and they're all great alternatives alternatives and they fit different people based on their products so you kind of got to look at your product what they offer I would suggest you doing a little bit more research on each one of them before you actually invest your time and money in putting your products there now if you enjoyed this video you've got to do me a favor you got to join the Fisher family how do you do that you hit that subscribe button down there below and you subscribe to my channel and don't forget you got to smash the bell the bell which is right next to the subscribe button there you've got to smash that button and when you do it's going to get a pop-up and you want to click on show all notifications that way I can tell you every single time I've done a video now as I promised I have an e-commerce course it's a $97 value and you can get it absolutely free I put in the link in the description down there all you got to do is click on it I really thank you for listening to this video and if you've got some suggestions of places where you would like to sell your product or that you have sold your products or if you've had any dealings with Amazon or eBay put that in the comments section below I really appreciate you listening to this video and I'll see you in the next one